Kenny. Thanks, Sharon. Next week, we will be in Florida for the Breeders' Crown. It will be for three-year-old filly trotters. There's a lot of racing going on in Florida, a lot of training. But when you think about Florida racing, you generally think about Pompano Park. This is Harness Racing's winter capital. In the early 1950s, as the sport of harness racing began to grow and competition among breeders, owners, and trainers became more intense, Castleton farm owner Fred Van Lennep saw a need for his fellow horsemen to have a place to stable, train, and race their trotters and pacers when cold weather set in at the northern tracks. Van Lennep built Pompano Park Racetrack and Training Center. Horses have been training at Pompano since the mid-1950s. There are some special features here. While using a pool to condition a horse is not unique to Pompano Park, there are a few places that offer an outdoor pool for this type of training. As you might imagine, horses and trainers love the South Florida weather. Between November and February, there is a constant flow of horses, most of them younger horses, coming to work out at Pompano. Almost every good two-year-old this season was training at Pompano last winter. This yearling is being hooked up to the bike for his very first visit to the racetrack. Trainers from the rookies to the Hall of Famers rave about the facilities at Pompano Park. Well, it's probably the greatest place in the world to train yearlings. That's, the weather's perfect, the tracks are excellent, couldn't be better, and uh, it's the, really the best place in the world. Well, next week we will be seeing three-year-old trotting fillies in the Breeders' Crown race from Pompano.